Hello, I'm Alex, and today I'll be showing you how easy it is to install a Grower Start basin tap with a pull-out spout. It sounds complicated, but it isn't. Of course, you should turn off the water before installation. So, let's get started. First, let's check what's in the box. Take a look at the enclosed installation manual. You can also use the QR code to find additional important information, as well as the installation video. To install your new tap, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, an adjustable spanner, a 17mm and a 19mm spanner, or alternatively you can use our installation tool instead of the 19mm spanner. The first thing you have to do is slide this O-ring over the hoses, which prevents water escaping from between the tap and the wash basin. Make sure that the O-ring is in the correct position and that the tap completely covers the tap hole. Insert carefully and then you're done. Now prepare the counter screw. Here's a little tip. Slightly pre-tighten the two fixing screws to make things easier for yourself later. Next, place the washer on the screw connection followed by the seal. Make sure you follow this sequence. Then screw the whole thing onto the fastening bolt underneath the wash basin and manually tighten the two screws until the tap no longer twists on the wash basin. However, beware, it will come off if you tighten it too far. Now connect the pull-out hose with the short hose on the tap. There is already an integrated seal here. First tighten it with your hand, then use the spanner. Now screw the weight onto the upper part of the hose so that it slides into the tap more easily. Unscrew it first and then attach it to the hose. Make sure it fits correctly. Perfect! Next it's the flexible connection hoses turn. These also already have an integrated seal and can easily be connected directly to the angle valves. The right hand hose is always used for cold water and is connected to the right hand angle valve. The left hand hose is for hot water and goes to the left hand angle valve. You simply place the screw connection on the thread and turn it hand tight until it stops on the thread of the angle valve. Then tighten it with an installation tool until the connection is secure. Make sure that the hoses do not become kinked or twisted. It's best to hold the hoses by hand or with a suitable tool when tightening them. Super! Is the water flowing? Not yet. Before you can turn on your new tap, you must install the drain. To do this, unscrew the drain first. The foam seal remains on the drain funnel, which you now simply insert through the drain hole in the wash basin. Then place the black seal and the white sliding ring on the bottom part of the drain. Screw this onto the bottom of the funnel. Now all you have to do is install your siphon and then test your new fitting. Now slowly open the angle valves and check that everything is tight. Here's a little tip. First, turn the angle valves all the way to the left and then back again a half or quarter turn. This will make the valves easy to operate in the future. Finally, let some water run into the closed basin in order to check whether everything is tight. Done. That was easy, wasn't it?